Yeah, I can. I, mean, I can put this down, right? No, I just. Uh, uh, I don't work out. You know what I mean? I can't hold it that long. 안녕하세요, 파파 잉글리쉬입니다. 약 3주 전에 골든글로브 시상식이 있었는데요. 재미있고 따뜻한 수상 소감이 있어 가져와 봤습니다. 얼마 전 넷플릭스 영화 The Watcher에서도 봤던 낯익은 얼굴이죠. 제니퍼 쿨리지의 수상 소감입니다. 같이 보시죠. This is such a great night. I'm so glad to be here and be in the company of all of you and um, this is such a great night. I'm so glad to be here and be in the company of all of you and um, This is such a great night. I'm so glad to be here and be in the company of all of you and um company는 함께 있는 것 또는 함께한 사람을 일컫습니다. 따라서 in the company of 또는 in one's company라고 하면 누구와 함께, 누구의 앞에서, 누구와 함께 있는 자리에서라는 뜻으로 쓰입니다. 즉 나는 당신들과 여기 함께 있게 되어 기쁘다 라는 의미가 되는 거죠. In the company of 대신 in company with 를 써도 같은 의미입니다. It's my pleasure to be in the company of such a fine gentleman as yourself. I'll walk the rest of the way myself. I can't go off on a secret mission in the company of the most famous dwarf in the city. This is such a great night. I'm so glad to be here and be in the company of all of you and um so many people are in this room here. There were like five people that that kept me going for, you know, 20 years with these little jobs. And Ryan Murphy, you were one of them. Some of the people are in this room here. There were like five people that that kept me going for, you know, 20 years with these little jobs. And Ryan Murphy, you were one of them. Some of the people are in this room here. There were like five people that that kept me going for, you know, 20 years with these little jobs. And Ryan Murphy, you were one of them. Keep going은 계속해 나가다, 힘든 상황에서 견디며 살아가다 라는 뜻인데요. 만일 중간에 사람을 넣으면 누군가가 힘든 상황에서도 계속해서 무언가를 할수 있도록, 살아갈 수 있도록 돕다, 만들다 라는 의미가 됩니다. 여기서 제니퍼가 딱 준비된 멘트를 술술 하는 게 아니라 막 정신없이 고마웠던 사람들을 언급하고 있거든요. 그래서 you know만 한 50번은 하는 것 같고 같은 말을 반복하기 때문에 이 keep me going 이라는 말도 여러 번 합니다. 그만큼 본인이 힘든 시절이 있었고 지금 언급하는 사람들 덕분에 자신이 버텨낼 수 있었다 라는 말을 하고 싶었던 거겠죠. 여기서 말한 Ryan Murphy가 우리가 예전에 다뤘던 The Watcher의 제니퍼를 캐스팅한 사람이라고 하네요. Gloria, I just want you to know, back at the zoo, it was never the doctors or the prescriptions that kept me going. It was always you. Seeing you every day, that's what kept me going. I think I was too scared or too angry or, I don't know, I just wanted to quit. But you guys, you got me through it somehow. Get me going. You, Ryan, and um, and let's see, we got. Well, who else was there? It was just you, Ryan. I don't know. <laughs> Some of the people are in this room here. There were like five people that that kept me going for, you know, 20 years with these little jobs. And Ryan Murphy, you were one of them. No, I didn't know anybody, and it never. It just was sort of this thing that wasn't going anywhere. Anyway, you know, um. And then there were these people who would sort of give you these cute little jobs and it would just be enough to get to the next one. No, I didn't know anybody and it never, it just was sort of this thing that wasn't going anywhere. Anyway, you know, um, and then there were these people who would sort of give you these cute little jobs and it would just be enough to get to the next one. No, I didn't know anybody and it never, it just was sort of this thing that wasn't going anywhere. Anyway, you know, um, and then there were these people who would sort of give you these cute little jobs and it would just be enough to get to the next one. 여기 문장을 좀 보고 넘어가겠습니다. 어려웠던 시절을 말하고 있는데요. 정말 그때는 이쪽 분야에 아는 사람이 아무도 없었다. 그리고 그쪽 일이 wasn't going anywhere 한 일이었다. be not getting anywhere, going anywhere 라는 말은 진전이 없다, 소득이 없다, 만족할 만한 결과를 만들어내지 못하다 라는 뜻입니다. 즉 당시 이 배우라는 커리어가 진전도 없고 미래도 불확실하고 그래서 정말 막막하고 답답한 것이었다. 그런데 이 사람들이 나에게 작지만 아주 소중한 역할들을 주었고 그 역할들 덕분에 또그 다음 작품들에 출연할 수 있었다라는 말을 하고 있습니다. We're not getting anywhere. We've circled right back to where we started. You know what, Michael? You're right. You win. This is pointless. We're not getting anywhere. No, I didn't know anybody and it never it just was sort of this thing that wasn't going anywhere. Anyway, you know, um 
And then there were these people who would sort of give you these cute little jobs and it would just be enough to get to the next one. And then the Whites Brothers kept me going with like five, because some of these things would go like five, you know, five different episodes, you know, five different um, sequels of American Pie. I'd milk that to the <laughs> bone. I mean, I'm, I'm still going for six or seven, whatever they want, you know? And then the Whites Brothers kept me going with like five, because some of these things would go like five, you know, five different episodes, you know, five different um, sequels of American Pie. I'd milk that to the... Bone. I mean, I'm, I'm still going for six or seven, whatever they want, you know? And then the Whites Brothers kept me going with like five, because some of these things would go like five, you know, five different episodes, you know, five different um, sequels of American Pie. I'd milk that to the bone. I mean, I'm, I'm still going for six or seven, whatever they want, you know? 재미있는 표현인데요. milk는 동사로 하면 젖을 짜다 라는 뜻입니다. 따라서 비유적으로 어떤 것을 어떻게 해서든 최대한으로 짜내다, 뽑아내다 라는 의미를 가집니다. to the bone 예전에도 한번 다룬 적이 있는데요. 우리말로 쉽게 뼛속까지 라는 뜻으로 기억하시면 되겠습니다. 예를 들어 I'm chill to the bone 뼛속까지 시리다, 즉 너무너무 춥다 라는 말이 되고요. He's bad to the bone 그는 뼛속까지 나쁜 사람이다. 즉 태생이 악마다 이런 말입니다. 제니퍼는 본인이 아메리칸 파이 다섯 개의 시퀀스에 출연해서 아주 뽕을 뽑았다. 그리고 앞으로 더할 기회가 있다면 기꺼이 자기는 6편 7편에도 출연하겠다. 라고 재미있게 말하고 있습니다. And then the Whites Brothers kept me going with like five, because some of these things would go like five, you know, five different episodes, you know, five different um, sequels of American Pie. I'd milk that to the bone. I mean, I'm, I'm still going for six or seven, whatever they want, you know. I just want you all to know that I had such big dreams and expectations as a younger person, but what happened was that, you know, they get sort of fizzled by life or whatever. And, and you know, I thought I was going to be Queen of Monaco, even though someone else did it. But I just want you all to know that I had such big dreams and expectations as a younger person, but what happened was that, you know, they get sort of fizzled by life or whatever. And, and you know, I thought I was going to be Queen of Monaco, even though someone else did it. But I just want you all to know that I had such big dreams and expectations as a younger person but what happened was they you know they get sort of fizzled by life or whatever and and you know i thought i was going to be queen of monaco even though someone else did it but fizzle 은 처음에는 활활 타오르다가 점점 약하고 실망스럽게 끝나는 모양새를 떠올리시면 됩니다. 즉 서서히 사그라들다, 흐지부지 되다, 실패하다라는 뜻인데요. 주로 뒤에 아웃과 같이 써서 fizzle out으로 많이 씁니다. 자신이 어렸을 때 꿨던 꿈 얘기를 하고 있는데요. 꿈이 원대했다고 하죠. 그런데 그 꿈들이 살면서 이런 것 저런 것에 fizzled 되었다고 합니다. 즉 흐지부지 된 거죠. People always exchange phone numbers, addresses. They end up writing once, calling each other once or twice. Right, fizzles out. Yeah, I mean I don't want that. I hate that. The vice president just assumed office. I can't have this conspiracy stuff going mainstream. This sort of thing usually fizzles out. I can't take the chance. I want you to find him and put him away. I just want you all to know that I had such big dreams and expectations as a younger person, but what happened was that, you know, they get sort of fizzled by life or whatever. And, and you know, I thought I was going to be Queen of Monaco, even though someone else did it. But Mike White, you have given me hope for just, you've given me a new beginning. Even this is the end, because you did kill me off, but it doesn't matter, because <laughs> even if this is the end, you sort of changed my life in a million different ways. And my neighbors are speaking to me, things like that. And, <laughs> I mean it. None of those people. I was never invited to one party on my hill, and now everyone's inviting me. And um, and I just, you know, it's to you, Mike White. Mike White, you have given me hope for just you've given me a new beginning. Even this is the end because you did kill me off, but it doesn't matter because even if this is the end, you sort of changed my life in a million different ways. And my neighbors are speaking to me, things like that. And and. I mean it. None of those people. I was never invited to one party on my hill, and now everyone's inviting me. And um, and I just, you know, it's to you, Mike White. Mike White, you have given me hope for just you've given me a new beginning. Even this is the end because you did kill me off, but it doesn't matter because even if this is the end, you sort of changed my life in a million different ways. And my neighbors are speaking to me, things like that. And and. I mean it. None of those people. I was never invited to one party on my hill, and now everyone's inviting me. And um, and I just, you know, it's to you, Mike White. Mike White는 지금 제니퍼가 상을 받게 해준 작품, The White Lotus라는 작품의 작가이자 감독입니다.
여기서 힐은 비유적으로 동네, 커뮤니티, 소셜 그룹을 나타낸다고 보시면 됩니다. 그리고 그 변화들이 is to you, 당신 덕분이다. 이 말은 is due to you와 같은 말입니다. due to, 무엇무엇 무엇 때문에, 무엇에 기인하는. 더 흔하고 일반적인 말로는 is because of you, it's your doing, you're the reason 등이 있습니다. Mike White, you have given me hope for... Just you've given me a new beginning. Even this is the end, because you did kill me off, but it doesn't matter, because even if this is the end, you sort of changed my life in a million different ways, and my neighbors are speaking to me, things like that. And, and, no, I mean it. None of those people, I was never invited to one party on my hill, and now everyone's inviting me. And, um, and I just, you know, it's to you, Mike White. I just want to say, um, this is really a fun night. Thank you, thank you. 오늘 영상은 여기까지입니다. 준비하면서 꽤나 마음이 따뜻해지는 걸 느꼈습니다. 여러분도 같은 느낌이셨길 바랄게요. Thank you so much for using Papa English.